Hey y'all, welcome back to another ILKB at home workout with me, John. Let's get it started with that light jog in three, in two, and one. All right, just nice, light, and easy to start in place. Just a light, simple jog, okay? We're gonna have some fun working out our bodies today, enjoying our fitness, y'all. But keep it going with that nice, light jog in place, okay, folks? In a few seconds, I'm gonna have you guys drop it down for some mountain climbers, all right, y'all? So let's get ready to do some mountain climbers in three, two, one, let's go. Mountain climbers. Okay, five. And you know what? While you're down here, give me a couple of push-ups. Off the knee or off the toe. Let's go back to that jog in three, two, and one. Jog it out. Okay, so you see what I have in store for you today as we start things off. Okay, we're going to do some mountain climbers. Just a short set. Some push-ups, just a really short set, and then back to that jog. As a matter of fact, let's bring it down. Mountain climb in three, two, one. Let's go, y'all. Hit that high palm plank. Bring those knees up one at a time. Okay, and you're already down there in that position. Let's go to the knees or stay on your toes for your push-ups in three, two, one. Push-ups. Let's go, folks. Standard push-ups. Keeping that alignment, shoulder back and hips in line. Let's get it going. Back to that jog in three, two, and one. Jog it out, jog it out, jog it out. All right, I think we have enough time to do that one more time, folks. So keep that light jog going. Okay, and let's get ready. Go right into those mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. One last time, guys. Here we go. Bring those knees up. Just nice and easy. One at a time. If you're making it twisting, it's up to you. You got less than five seconds remaining, folks. And then it's to our regular push-ups in three, in two, and one. Regular push-ups, guys. Just your standard push-ups, folks. Nice and easy here. Five more seconds. And then from these standard push-ups, we're going to our walking push-ups in three, two, and one. To the elbow plank, to the palm plank, back to the elbow plank, guys. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Nice and gentle. So work those walking push-ups, folks. In a couple of seconds, I'm going to have you come up to your feet. We're going to work our surrenders, all right, y'all? And those are happening in three, two, and one. Okay, guys, drop it low. Start from the low squat hold position. One knee down, other knee down. One knee up, other knee up, y'all. Okay, always return to your low squat hold position. Try to stand all the way back up. But if you need to, that's okay. You got to stretch it out, shake it out. That's A-OK. -okay. That's fine by me, folks. Right, a few more seconds here. Guys, we're gonna keep those legs together. Okay, you got about less than 10 seconds. We have our twisting hops on deck. So slow and steady. Give me a few more surrenders and then locking those feet together for your twisting hop in three, in two, and one. So you're just kind of bouncing on the balls of your feet, keeping those heels up and off your floors, twisting left to right, working your abs, working your sense of balance here, and those calf muscles, folks. Okay, because you're bouncing, you're keeping those heels up, you're getting those calf muscles working, y'all. All right, so keep that going. You got about 10 more seconds for your twisting hops, okay, folks? And then we're gonna be working some lunges, okay, from side to side. You'll see what I mean when we get there. And that's happening in three, two, one. Step out to the side, come back to the center. Step out to the other side and back to the center. So it's our alternating side lunges. Okay, keep those legs extended. Feel that stretch in your hips area, okay, folks? Side to side, slow and steady. Catch your breath here, it's a slower exercise. Once you guys be able to catch your breath, okay? Maintain a steady, even rhythm, a flow, a groove, all right, if you have. Okay, so keep that going. Three more seconds here, guys. Diamond push-ups up next in three, two, one. Here we go. Make that diamond shape with your hands. Keep your palms directly beneath your chest, okay? And up and down. There we go, guys. Diamond push-ups. Okay, focus on your tricep muscles. One more time. Always push-ups from the knee or the toe. If you're doing this push-up from your knees, again, your shoulders, your back and hips all are one line. They all go down at the same time. A few more seconds here for your diamond push-ups. Then I you got to take a breather. It's your hollow hold in three, in two, and one. Hollow hold, guys. Okay, hands by your sides beneath those hips. Legs straight out. Keep your feet from touching the floor. Shoulder blades are up. A lot going on, I know, but hey, it's all for the abs. So keep those shoulder blades up, look at those toes, keep your core engaged. A few more seconds here, guys. We're gonna go continue with working our abs out. Okay, we're gonna go from our hollow hold into your flutter kick, okay, folks? And that's happening in three, two, one, flutter kicks, okay? So now you're moving your feet up and down 
at a pace again that works for you, slow and steady. Keep those toes pointed because you don't want to turn from your knees, you want the flutters coming from your hips, all right guys, using your hip joints as the pivot point for those flutter kicks. Less than 10 seconds remaining for those flutter kicks, so guys, keep it going. Come on, I'm gonna let you guys just chill out on your backs here for your next exercise as well. It's gonna flutter away, let's bring your legs up. Toe touch in three, two, and one. Both legs come up, I want you to pulse up and down, okay? You're pulsing up and down, you're reaching for your toes. Take a quick exhale as your hands reach for the toes. Take a quick inhale as you come on back and kind of to a relaxed state. But you're not staying there too long because you're pulsing up and down, you're working those toe touches, guys. Okay, a couple more seconds. I want to get you guys on your right side elbow plank. All right, y'all? In three, two, and one. Flip it over. Now, once you're ready, once you're steady, I want you to add those hip dips. If you find this is very difficult for you and you find you're getting all the way to the floor, okay, maybe just kind of strengthen your core a bit. Small pulses, okay, just small pulses to strengthen your core and work your obliques, your side abs. So stay up there, guys. Take your time with it. This is a slower exercise. Really, really engage your core. Don't let that hip bone touch your floor, so y'all, all right? So hang in there, hang in there. And now you did the regular ones. Let's go twisting in three, two, one. Twisting mountain climbers, knee to opposite elbow. Okay, guys, there we go. Knee to the opposite elbow. Still, um, you want to get that twisting motion. Still, shoulders, elbows, and wrists in line. Still, shoulder, back, and hips in line. Work those twisting mountain climbers. Point that left knee to the right elbow. Right knee to the left. Okay, twist it out, twist it out, twist it out. A few more seconds here, y'all. Keep that going. And let's go to the left side elbow plank now in three, two, one, left side. Or if you did the left before, now it's the right. Now add that hip dips when you're ready, okay? Okay, make sure you're ready, you're steady first before starting to add those hip dips up and down. All right, guys, real simple. Or if the hip dips are difficult and you're finding some off balance, it's okay, just hold that elbow plank as long as you can for the next five seconds or so, keeping those hips up and off. Okay, guys, we have our twisting mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Flip it over. One more time, twisting mountain climbers. Knee to opposite elbow, right to left, left to right, guys. Come on, let's get it going. Now, you are about halfway through. What? Just halfway? Yep, just halfway, guys. About halfway through our warm-up for today. You're already in that palm plank position while you're doing those twisting mountain climbers. Let's take it back from the top. Okay, guys, slow it down. Get those last ones in. It is our walking push-up in three, two, one. Elbow plank, palm plank. There we go, guys. Down, down, up, up. What you may or may not have noticed there is that I'm doing my best to not let my hips roll. So to do that, of course, I want to engage my core, but you can also spread your feet a little bit further apart to create a more stable base as you go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, y'all. All right? Keep that going, a few more seconds here, and then start from that low squat hold, surrender on out, in three, in two, and one, come to the low squat. Remember, one knee down, other knee down, one knee up, other knee up. Okay guys, that's it, nice and easy. Get that little pulse there as well when you return to that low squat hold position. Just go slow and steady, go at a pace that works for you. If you gotta catch a breather, stay in the low squat hold, don't do it from the knees down position, all right? So keep that going, a few more surrenders here. And then lock those legs together, guys. Straighten on up. Twisting hops in three, in two, and one. Twisting hops, y'all. Okay, doing your best to keep those legs together. Maybe imagine there's a string or a big rubber band keeping those legs together, and all we're doing is twisting left to right. I'm not looking for height here on those hops. I'm looking for you to work those calf muscles and engage your core. All right, y'all, just a few more seconds for those twisting hops, and then we're gonna slow it down. Alternating side lunges in three, in two, and one. Out to the side, back to the center, out to the side, back to the center. Hopefully you have enough space around you to do that. If not, you're going forward or backwards. Okay, folks, there we are. Just alternate those lunges left to right, okay, side to side. With about 15 seconds remaining in this exercise, keep it going. And then remember, y'all, whoop, whoop, whoop. We have those diamond push-ups coming up next, y'all. Let's get ready for those. Bring it down in three, two, and one. Again, diamond shape with those hands, palms below your chest. 
and work those tricep muscles. Just by changing the position of your hands. Okay, y'all, we can work out a different and target a different area. Still working your upper body, but changing those hand positions, target to the special area. In this case, the triceps with those diamond push-ups, y'all. Keep that going. Seven more seconds remaining for those diamond push-ups. Then we go into our little mini ab set. Okay, folks, we have that hollow hold in three, two, and one. Look it on through those backs one more time. Hollow hold, guys. Keep those legs straight. Breathe and relax. All right, give those triceps a little break from those diamond push-ups, y'all. Okay, if you remembered earlier, the next set of ab exercises are all from the back. So just kind of keep your core engaged. If you gotta bring your knees into your chest, you certainly may. But all I want you guys to do is remain in that hollow hold for a few more seconds before we turn the hollow hold into the flutter kick. And that's happening in three, in two, and one. Flutter kick now, guys, small, tight, up and down motions. It don't have to be very wide, but what I want you guys to do is not let your feet touch the floor. Okay, whatever you do, don't let your feet touch. Just small, tight, up and down flutters. Wonderful. Keep that going, y'all. You're doing amazing. You're doing amazing, amazing, amazing. Keep things going, okay? Woo, a few more seconds here. You gotta keep fluttering away. And then I want you guys to raise those legs up. We have those toe touches in three, in two, and one. Both legs go straight up. Keep the shoulder blades up and pulse, pulse, pulse it out. Pulse, pulse, pulse it out. Fast or slow, it's up to you. But you notice I'm never letting my shoulders go completely flat. Okay, because I do want to keep my core engaged, whether I'm actively reaching for my toes or somewhat relaxed as I'm releasing. So keep that going, y'all. Reach for those toes. A few more seconds, guys. Okay. Woo! We're almost done. We are almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead. Stand it on up. Give me some jump squats in three, in two, and one. Now, if you can't do the jump squats, give me regular squats. But make sure if you're doing the jumps, you're bending your knees as you land to help absorb the shock. All right, guys? Not trying to put any more added pressure on those knee joints. Just trying to build those leg muscles, make them stronger. Okay, folks, so give me some jump squats. Again, I'm looking for height, but if you want to try to challenge yourself, see how, how high you can jump, it's up to you. Okay, keep it going with those jump squats, guys. All right, we're going to keep things moving quickly. Keep that heart rate up. Toe taps in three, two, one. If you don't have anything to tap your toes, you're just going forwards, okay, just like this. Try to stay on the balls of your feet here, guys. Again, bring those legs forwards. And those are our version of the toe taps. If you have something where you can really get your feet up on, you can, but otherwise just simply move those feet forwards in a forward shuffling direction, if you, what have you, all right? Okay, haven't done them yet, so let's get ready to do them, ladies and gentlemen. It's our burpees in three, in two, and one. Here we go, standard burpees, guys. Up, down, out, in, and up. Up, down, out, in, and up. Standard burpee. Now, keep working those regular burpees, folks. We're going to finish today's workout. We're only doing this set one time. So give me as many burpees as you can. But I'll tell you right now, we are ending today's warm-up with the eight-count burpee. I'll do a few with you, but as you're doing the regular burpees, what you're going to do is add a plank jack, add a push-up, and add a tuck jump at the end. But first, let's toe tap one more time in three, two, and one. Toe tapping one. Final time. Woo All right, guys. So, again, we're going to finish strong. You're going to give me as many eight-count burpees as you can. If you don't do all the elements, that's all right. Do your best, though, guys. Okay? Again, it's the burpee with the plank jack, add the push-up, and add the tuck jump. All right? And that's happening. Okay? In a couple more seconds, you have three, two, one. I'll do a few with you. Here we go, guys. Up, down, out. Give me that plank jack. Give me your push up when you come in, explode with that tuck jump, okay? High palm plank, plank jack, push up, come on in, and tuck jump to finish it off. Your eight count burpees, guys, keep it going, keep it moving. I will count you guys down. We're almost there. This is the final exercise of your warm up today. Keep going, keep pushing yourselves, guys. You got this. Y'all got this. I know you can. I believe in each and every single one of you. Okay, you have five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job on your warm-up today, ladies and gentlemen. Take a minute, catch your breath, grab some water. Really, really important that you hydrate. Okay, folks, if you feel the need, try it. Hydrate. Your body will thank you. All right, you can go ahead, pause the video from here, 
get a good five to seven minute stretch. And when you come back, get ready for some kickboxing action. All right, guys, let's start that first round. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross, reset. They're all jabs and crosses, guys. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross, reset, and repeat. Over here, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross, reset, and repeat. Move around, guys. You don't gotta stay in place. As you see when I was showing you those different angles, you don't gotta stay in one place. So it's jab, cross, maybe I move over here. Jab, jab, cross, and then over here. Jab, cross, cross. Have fun with it, ladies and gentlemen. This is your workout. Just keep it moving the way you want to. So again, you're gonna go jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross to finish it off. Okay, just building up, working your lefts and your rights. Make sure those punches are nice and straight. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, reset, and repeat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You got this. Keep it moving, get it going. You're more than two thirds of the way through this round. Again, these are shorter rounds. I hope you guys can join me for the in-between exercise going down in about 10 seconds or so. So again, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross, reset, and repeat. Let's get ready. On your backs, leg straight up, toe touch in three, in two, and one. Guys, leg straight in the air, and pulse up and down, reach for your toes. Simple enough, guys. Good job. So keep that going. We're we working a lot of hooks from here on out. So remember to keep those elbows bent and to work your pivots. Okay, guys, you can be on the balls of your feet with you're really engaging your core. <clears throat> so keep going. Hopefully you guys are all doing those toe touches, legs in the air. It's only the first round after all. We have five more to go. Okay, so let's finish up those last couple of toe touches. Back to your fight guard stance. Here we go for round number two. Cross, left body hook, left head hook, cross, reset and repeat. Cross, hook, hook, cross is the rhythm. Here we go, guys. So cross, dip down just a little bit to your rib cage level, left hook to the body, reset quickly, pick those elbows up, left hook up top, and then another cross to finish it off. Cross, left to the body, left to the head, cross and reset. Over here, cross, left to the body, left to the head, cross, reset and repeat. That is all, y'all. Keep it going, keep working it here. Cross, left hook to the body, left hook up top, and then a second cross to finish it off. Four punches in total. Cross, hook, hook, cross is your rhythm. Again, about 30 seconds into the round, so you can move around, catch your breath. Don't stay moving around too long though, guys, because you can kind of end up going like this. And then the round is done before you know it. So continue with your cross, left body hook, left head hook, cross to finish it off. Stay busy, guys. Cross, left to the body, left to the head, cross, and back. Keep moving, y'all. 30 seconds remaining in the round, that is all. So cross, left hook to the body, left hook up top, and another cross to finish it off, y'all. Woof! Good job here, y'all. Keep busy, stay busy, stay active here. We're almost there, we're almost done, guys. So keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Cross, left to the body, left to the head, cross, reset, and repeat. Okay, y'all, let's get ready, though. Finish up those last couple of combinations. Cross, left to the body, left to the head, and cross. We're gonna take a seat. We're gonna extend our legs down and bring them in. Okay, y'all, it's the reverse crunch. In three, in two, and one. Here we go, take a seat. Okay, you can have your tips or your gloves by your side to stabilize yourself, or you can go hands-free. Hands-free is perfectly fine as well. You wanna stay busy, you wanna stay active, that's what you gotta do, guys, okay? So again, kick those legs out, bring those legs in. Of course, if you need to ever stop, towel off, hydrate, that's of course really, really important. But if you want that added challenge, work those reverse crunches, guys. All right, great job, keep it moving, keep going here. Let's get ready for round number three. On your feet, jab, right body hook, right head hook, left front kick, reset and repeat. So this time we're gonna go left, right, right, left. So jab, dip down again, right body hook, you're gonna work that pivot, be at your rib cage level. Okay, reset quickly, pick that elbow up, for your right head hook and finish the combo with your left front kick. Jab, right to the body, right to the head. Left front kick, <coughs> pardon me. Keep going guys, stay busy. Jab, right to the body, right to the head. Left front kick to finish it off. Again, have fun with it guys. This is your 
happy time. Okay, I was gonna say happy hour, but you know, these are much shorter classes than our standard class time. So you wanna make the most, maximize those movements, guys. Stay busy, stay active. You get to breathe in between the rounds. Otherwise, keep going with that jab, right to the body, right to the head, left front kick. Jab, right to the body, right to the head, left front kick. Jab, right to the body, right to the head, left front kick. All right, y'all? 30 seconds remaining in the round. Keep it going, guys. I know, I can't believe this is already the third round. After this, we're already halfway through your kickboxing round. So jab, right to the body, right to the head, left front kick. Jab, right to the body, right to the head, left front kick. All right, y'all, stay busy, y'all, keep going. We're almost there, we are almost there. Okay, hopefully you will join me one more time on your backs for another set of toe touches. And those are gonna be happening in three, in two, and one. Here we go, legs up, and toe touch, y'all. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna try to keep those shoulder blades up. They're just some quick pulses reaching for your toes. Hopefully you, you can reach them. If not, just keep stretching, reaching for them. That's all you wanna do. You wanna keep your core engaged, working those pulses in your, your toe touch exercise. About 10 seconds remaining, folks, so stay busy. Whatever it is you're doing, hydrating, toweling off, changing the song, or finishing up your toe touches, we're gonna get ready for round number four. In three, in two, and one. Stand on up, guys, here we go. Left hook up top, right hook up top, left uppercut, and then right front kick. All right, guys, so left, right, left, right, reset. Okay, left hook, make that pivot. Right hook, get that pivot. Left uppercut, hey, you're pivoting there as well. And then finish it with your right front kick. Come on back, reset and repeat. Hook, hook, up, and front kick. Okay, the rhythm should be left, right, left, right. So you got that left hook, right hook, left up, and then right front kick. Hook, hook, up, and front kick. Hook, hook, up, and front kick. Guys, there we are. Okay, keep it moving. Now you're about a third of the way through the round. Find that comfortable rhythm, find your groove, and stay in it for the entirety of the round. Okay, guys, so left hook, right hook, left up, right front kick, left hook, right hook, left up, and right front kick. Here we are. Okay, about 30 seconds remaining in the round. I know, it's fast, it goes fast, so stay busy, stay active. Again, I'll say it every single time you'll hear me say it, stay busy, stay active, because you have that break time in between. Okay, folks, so don't worry. Everyone going at their own pace, not too fast, not too slow. Just find that rhythm where you can sustain and maintain throughout the round. Speaking of which, you got about 15 seconds remaining. So hook, hook, up, and front kick. Hook, hook, up, and front kick. Hook, hook, up, and front kick, guys. A few more seconds here. Runner sit up in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. So <clears throat> as you come up, you twist at the top, you twist at the top. Okay, basically it's a sit-up, but at the very top of that sit-up, you're gonna bring your right elbow toward your left knee, and then the same thing, left elbow to the right. Runner sit-ups, guys. Exhale as you come up, inhale on the way back down. All right, guys? So let's get ready, folks. Round five coming at you in about 10 seconds. So do what you gotta do in between. Whether it's the exercise or whatever it is you're doing, taking a nice deep breath. We're gonna come back to our fight guard stance. Round number five, here we go. So we have jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and a cross to finish it off. All right, guys, so jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and then a cross to finish it off. Make sure that right leg comes down and is well grounded before you finish with that cross. Here we go, so this is a jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, I wish my right foot to come back down, and then finish it with the cross. Jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and cross. Over here, jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and a cross to finish it off. All right, guys? Have fun with that combo. That's a dope combo. Jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and then a cross to finish it off, y'all. Halfway through the round, keep throwing down. <clears throat> jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and a cross to finish it off, y'all. Woo! Good job, folks. Here we are, keep rocking and rolling. <clears throat> jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and a cross. 30 seconds left in the round, guys, I know. I know, I know, I know, so have fun. Jab, cross, left body hook, right knee, and a cross to finish it off. All right, guys, woo! Again, don't forget your techniques throughout. 
Okay, you wear shadow boxing here, and shadow boxing is a great way to kind of fill in the holes in your technique. So if you find that you're maybe not pivoting, you're not getting your rotation, you're maybe your arm is not extending, or it's where it's supposed to be, here's a great time to make sure you're working on your techniques as well. Let's get ready, guys. Also, last set of toe touches in three, two, one, guys. Final set of your toe touches. So you made it. Last round, about to go down in about 20 five seconds so remember at the end of that round we have a speed round that everyone will be participating in and so you want to keep on going here guys work your toe touches do what you got to do we have our last and final round about to go down sixth round and then again find a steady pace because you all are going to be working in that speed round we got going down at the end of round six speaking of which round six is set to commence in three in two and one left front right front Jab, cross, jab, right body hook. All right, guys? Very, very simple. Left front kick, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, and then a right body hook to finish it off. We're basically just alternating with our left and our right side strike. So left front, right front, jab, cross, jab, right body hook. Over here, left front kick, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, and then a right body hook to finish it off. On this side, we have left front kick, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, and then a right body hook to finish it off, folks. All right, less than a minute remaining in the round. Keep throwing down my badass kickboxers. Let's go. <clears throat> so, left front, right front, jab, cross, jab, right body hook. Left front, right front, jab, cross, jab, right body hook, y'all. We're almost there. Hopefully you got some in the tank remaining for your speed round going down in about 30 seconds. I know, I know. Okay, so again, left front, right front, Jab, cross, jab, right body hook, woof. All right, guys, keep moving around. If you have the space, move around, bounce around, keep those hands up, don't let them drop, don't let them drop. All right, guys, so here we are, every round being a fight for your fitness, right? So you gotta keep those hands up. Okay, a few more seconds remaining, and then we're all gonna throw down for your speed round, guys, all right? I'll let you know in advance right now, we're gonna go 10 and 10. 10 left and right body hooks, and then 10 left and right head hooks, all right, y'all? Finish up your combo. Speed round coming at you in three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Core is burning. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We keep moving, guys. You got about. Got about 10 seconds remaining for your speed round. 10 left and right body hooks, 10 left and right head hooks. Keep throwing down, guys. I will be counting you down. Keep going. 10 and 10 for five, four, three, two, one, and done. Great job on your kickboxing rounds, guys. Take a minute, catch your breath, grab some water before we go. Got one final thing to work on. All right, guys, so we have one final bit of conditioning. 30 seconds a piece, okay, two exercises. We're gonna do two sets, guys, all right? So we're basically, we're gonna be working our surrenders. 30 seconds of surrender, 30 seconds of jumping jacks, folks, all right? So surrender time in three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Just like that, guys. You're gonna go start from your low squat hold position. If you gotta stand back up to stretch, that's okay. But hopefully your body is sufficiently warmed up after your warm up, your kickboxing rounds to do these surrenders, okay? So you're gonna go from the low squat, bring your knees down and come back to your low squat. All right, folks, here we go. A few more seconds here. Come on up, shake it out. Jumping jack time in three, two, one. Jumping jack, swing those arms, swing those legs. Keep that heart rate up. And what we do with this conditioning at the very end, guys, it hopefully keeps your body burning your calories, keeps your engines revving, so to speak. Okay, y'all? So continue to work those jumping jacks. We're gonna do one more set of surrenders and jumping jacks. If you wanna continue beyond, if you still feel like you have a lot more energy to burn, go for it. Okay, I applaud you for that effort. Okay, keep on going. So let's get ready, drop it back down for your final set of surrenders in three, two, one. Again, it doesn't need to be your final set, but if it is, give it all you got, guys. Okay, low squat, bring your knees down, back to your low squat, okay? You can keep on going after the video is done. Okay, folks, working your surrenders and jumping jacks. All right, y'all, jumping jacks coming up next in about 10 seconds. 
Continue to work those surrenders. Guys, work those legs. I know, I know, you're feeling it right now. Of course, I'm feeling it too. So let's get ready, guys, to shake it on out with our jumping jacks in three, two, one. Jumping jack it out, woo! All right, guys, there we go. So if you choose to continue beyond, again, you're gonna be doing about 30 seconds of surrenders and 30 seconds of jumping jacks. All right, y'all? Speaking of which, you got about 15 seconds remaining of your jumping jacks. Hopefully you have enough energy to go beyond. Okay, 30 seconds of surrenders, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. All right, guys? So you're finishing up that set though. However, jumping jacks in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, everybody. If you're continuing, it's surrenders and jumping jacks. If you're done, like me, I'm done. Make sure you get a good five to seven minute stretch. However, when you're done, with your final bit of conditioning. It's really, really important that you stretch it on out. But before I let you go, let's all do it together. Three, two, one, two bangs and a clap. Three, two, one. Great job, kickboxers. I'll see you next time.